Hallelujah to Jesus. Now, hear this. In Osea chapter 12 verse 13. Osea 12 13, the Bible says, And by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. By a prophet. By a prophet. With that scripture, I welcome us to this great platform, Daily Impartation with Kayo De Nathaniel Tomomeu. You know, we are talking about what evil is saying concerning us this month. Expect this month of March. And we said in Ex from Exodus 14, 15, that the mind of God and what evil is saying is that he wants us to make progress. And yesterday I was telling us that if you are going to make progress, one key that you need is the key of your prophet. The key of your prophet. Now, if you look into our text today, what the, our text today, Osea 12, 13, the Bible says, by, by a prophet, a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet, he preserved them. Don't forget, we all know what Egypt is all about. Egypt represents house of bondage. The Israelites were there for 430 years. And they run into millions. Their population runs into millions. Now listen to me. And they could not come out. What millions of people could not do, a prophet did it. A prophet anointed by God did it. That is why, listen to me, that bondage you are, a prophet is enough to bring you out. And not only to bring you out, they will bring you out and they will preserve you. That is why you need a prophet. Who is a prophet? They are people anointed by God and sent into your life for your progress and for your preservation. And that is why, listen to me, if you have a prophet over you, and if you have a prophet over you, treasure them. They are agents to be treasured, agents of progress. And when, when I talk about prophet, I'm talking about your pastor. If you have a pastor over you, they are agents of progress. Progress. They are agents of liberation. Treasure them. Pray for your pastor. Give to your pastor. Honor your pastor. Because the Bible says, He that honors me, I will honor. A pastor you don't honor, will not, will, his anointing, his prayer will not work for you in the time of trouble. The pastor you treat, you treat as trash. The pastor you don't honor. The pastor you don't, you, you, you treat any house. The, 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 the grace will not work for you. That is why if you have a pastor over you, don't joke with them this year. According to where we read, Moses was their prophet. He was the one dear for them. He was the one God sp spoke to. He said, speak to the Israelite. God didn't speak to the Israelite. He spoke to their prophet. And listen to me, and by their prophet, Rese parted. I speak into your life today. Every barrier between you and your destiny, every way patch it away. In the name of Jesus. Don't joke with that kiss. Sir. It's a very powerful it's a very powerful kid. In this month, not only this month, even this year, don't do it. treat them very well. They, they, that pro, those prophets are the ones that will speak into your life. They are the ones that will pray for you. And as they are praying for you, their prayer will work. And I'm giving you the key. Pray for your prophet. Give to them, honor them. When you honor them, the anointing will work for you. I pray for this woman. I pray for this man. That bondage that want to seek in your life, by the hand of prophet, you are coming out. In the name of Jesus, you are coming out. That is what you are using to pray today. Lord, I cry unto you. By my, you will cry to God. Lord, I enjoy the grace. If you have been, if you have been, if you have been honoring your prophet call unto God Lord let the grace of my prophet let them work for me that is what you need that is a powerful key that you must not joke with that even God could not do it Moses was the one between God and the Israelite he was the one he was the one and your prophet is the one between God and you go and go and tap hold on to that tap into their honor them and you will see the hand of God like never before in the name of Jesus. It is where we you. You will not die in that problem. Just like by the hand of Moses, God brought them out. You are coming out of that situation. I speak to your life.
life as a prophet and I speak into you go forward in the name of Jesus it is well with you so shall it be in Jesus name if you are not born again make sure you give your life to Christ help us to share this message let it go viral share it don't keep it to yourself and the Lord will bless you and don't forget the Bible reading is still on be committed to it the Lord will bless you see you tomorrow by the grace of